After plowing through much of the Eastern Caribbean on September 7, 2017, Hurricane Irma hit the Turks and Caicos Islands at full force as the most powerful Atlantic hurricane in history. Medium, small, and micro enterprises were hit hard, impacting a backbone of the Turks and Caicos Islands economy. The survey that we did among the MSME sector, and that's across the islands, so Key Strait to Providence Islands revealed that large majority of them were severely impacted. The damages were mainly structural and indeed their inventory as well. So there was significant delay in a lot of them reopening, particularly on Sol Key, South Caicos and Grand Turk. And of course we understand the value that um, MSMEs play to the country as a whole. Devastated by the hurricanes of September 2017, many small businesses were unable to provide goods and services such as food, transportation, or water for their communities and families. When the hurricane struck, the operation was finished. He had no operation then because everything was shut down. Oh, it was, was painful. Like I said, all this here, all this here was done, done flat. I, I, I lose couple of peaks, you know. Responding to the request of the government of the Turks and Caicos Islands, UNDP moved to support 40 micro, small, and medium-sized businesses build back better with hurricane recovery grants valued at 40,000 US. These beneficiaries ranging from restaurant owners, fishermen, manufacturers, and farmers were able to use these funds to repair damages, replenish lost inventory, and get back on their feet. They helped me change up everything towards trying to put it back to a sustainable position. For when it was done, it was like a bad state because I never had like two membrane up and running because I was pumping really 600. And since I get that grant, I, I put modification on it from 600 to 1200. It made a whole lot of difference ever since I modified it to my liking to pump more water. And then from there, I made sure I pick up more combined filters like to strain off the salinity off for it. So that way, I'll be pumping less soil and get more fresh water for it. South Caicos is the fishing and capital of the Turks and Caicos Island. This is where approximately 70% of the, the marine uh, product comes from. I was able to take that and put with some other monies to remodel this boat. You look at it, the roof that is on it now, that wasn't there. All the, the side that was torn down, the, the top on the engine that was damaged, I had to remodel the boat, bring it to the place where it become a working boat again. The ground I had to 1500 and the grand my son he collected and then he fixed the roof as I tell you buy things to fix it because the hurricane tear the all the things off and he buy self and fix it back and then you could see some material in there on the floor and the rocks and things to finish up the work so that was a good 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 help. I was happy about it. It was real nice of having it to help me out because after the hurricane, I had poured plenty of money back into this thing. So the little money what I had from the ground, I was much happy with it. Paying off guys to work here with me, buying material, I had to buy cement, I had to buy zinc, all these things here, zinc and things I had to fix back up because all was breaking down. The ground helped me to reopen I was able to go and purchase some wire for the playground and some sheet rock where um, the ceiling was damaged. And then I have some funds put aside still to go and get some wood to be able to do a deck in the playground and to do other repairs out there that is necessary. Mm -hmm. So it's a blessing. The funds I received, um, I purchased a 
new engine and a windshield for the other car. It helped me to get my business back up and running because I like I didn't have anything. I didn't have anything, so it's like I had to start from scratch. So when I got the grant, I was able to purchase my stuff and start over from there. I use it to help to pay to restore the shingle on the roof. It lightened my burden much at a point in time when it's really needed, and I do appreciate it. Certainly us here at the CD, we are very grateful that UNDP didn't focus on you know, one particular sector or one island or two islands. You know, the assistance was across the board and across sectors, and so I, I believe that had a much greater impact.